Welcome to Chris Park in Shooting Sports. This is the Element Optics Helix HDLR 2 to 16 by 50 rifle scope. I've been using this for the last three months. I've had it on various different rifles. So here is my opinion overall of what this scope will do for you because what it's done for me. The scope's an eight times erector tube so you get a very broad magnification range from two to 16 power. Now, coupled with the fact it's also got a full span parallax controls you can go all the way down to air rifle ranges and all the way up to center fire ranges now at maximum 16 times magnification it isn't perhaps the long range super varmint scope some are but the trade-off with that is with a 2 to 16 range you're never pushing so much magnification you can't appreciate a bright clear image I have been using this with a trigger cam on the back, which doesn't always give you the perfect focus you get with a human eye, but I've set it up pretty well and I've kept my eye on it. Starting at the back for once, we've got fast focus eyepiece to give you a crisp reticle picture. Magnification control is here from 2 to 16 and it comes with a throw lever. Everything's on a 30mm tube so it's easy to mount in regular conventional rings and all the knurling on it is both well machined and it doesn't pick up the dust off your skin. It's nice and it's aggressive enough for good grip without being overtly aggressive and, and actually cutting or scraping you too much. The tube goes through to the front, 50mm front end, so yes, reasonably bright image with beautiful compact overall size and it's got a 2.5 inch sunshade that comes with it. I'll just take that off so you can see it without it on. And that's there. Now, it also comes with both extending rubber eye cups and you've got flip up eye cups too. So, depending on which you want, these just go on exactly as you like it, depending on your preferences for your rifle. Other accessories in the box, you get a cleaning cloth, you get Allen keys, and you also get, I'm not really sure what to call these, I'm going to call this like a, like a sort of go string type thing, because this is actually a really smart idea. Now, you can see on the top here, we've got, you know, a fast adjustable elevation turret. This is zero by taking the turret off, obviously once you've zeroed your rifle, turn it round, pop it back at zero, and that will go where you want it. And it does also have a zero stop, you set it with Allen keys too. I've unzeroed that now, so I'll have to re-zero that at some other point. But interestingly, on the windage dial, it's not an exposed turret. You've got left and right here, and you just take the screw out the end, take it off, put it back on at zero. Now if you want to run it with the cap on, you can run it with the cap on. Alternatively, this thing I, as I say, like to call sort of ghost string, that goes on over the threads and if you put that on there, you've now got an almost seamless fit and of course the warranty is still in place, the waterproof nature is still in place, so you've got no problem whatsoever using it in that scenario if that's what suits you. And I think this is one of the things that makes this an absolutely excellent compromise for a very versatile hunting scope which is capable still of dialing quite quickly and accurately to longer range shots. The click value is 1 tenth milliradian with 6 milliradians per revolution. Overall elevation adjustment range is 29 milliradians and there are 13 milliradians of windage. 
parallax adjustment is on the left side and it goes all the way down to 10 meters or actually slightly below and all the way back out to infinity. So you'll see in the video when I zoom it in or change the parallax, you'll see it snap into focus quite easily. The reticle is in the second focal plane, so it stays a constant size. It doesn't get larger and smaller. Now that does mean you can't use the subtensions on the reticle to measure in quite the same way any magnification setting. But there are red marks here and you can set it up as you want. It's very heavily detailed in the manual exactly what the subtensions are at those magnification settings. On the left side you've got illumination control, there are six settings that are intervening off positions. They've got nice firm solid clicks so it's really easy to set that up exactly as you want it and there's no massive red flare on the image. Looking at the image quality, Element have chosen a really nice magnification range for a sporting rifle. I like the fact that at 16 power you've got more precision if you've got smaller targets or smaller quarry to aim at, but down at 2 power you've still got massive field of view. And it doesn't make it incapable of actually shooting moving game with that, because that large field of view means you've got that immediate point of view and you can track on target and you've got excellent awareness of what's going on in your hunting environment. The turrets have got really positive clicks. You can count them both through your fingertips in a tactile nature, or you can count them in your head, one, two, three, four, five. And of course it's laser engraved, lovely white imagery here. It's clear and you can see those actual click values you're dialing in. There are six milliradians per entire turn of the turret. So that gives you quite a lot of capability, certainly on a hunting rifle, without having to go into the second rotation. There is a zero stop on this, as I said, but it doesn't have an overall rotation indicator. So do be aware of that. Magnification range is 2 to 16 times. The tube diameter is 30 millimeters and objective lens diameter is 50 millimeters. The exit pupil goes from 8.5 to 3.1 millimeters and eye relief is 101.6 millimeters, which is 4 inches. Field of view is 20.2 to 2.51 meters at 100 meters. Overall length is 340 millimeters and overall weight is 770 grams. If you go for the minutes of angle version of the scope, clicks a quarter MOA and there are 15 minutes of angle per revolution of the dial. There are 100 MOA of overall travel vertically with 45 for windage. Element Optics supply a detailed owner's manual which is great for explaining all the features and functions of the turret, the scope, how to set it up, how to zero it and how to live with it long term. It also tells you about shooting longer distances and explains how milliradians and minutes of angle work at different distances. The scope features Element Optics Platinum Lifetime Warranty. Right, well I hope you've enjoyed that review. Please like, subscribe, comment, click the notification bell and make sure you keep track of my regular uploads. Thanks for watching, bye for now.